Good morning, my dear students. Welcome back to the online classes of Saint Joseph's Academy for class fifth, subject English grammar, lesson thirty six, vocabulary in context, presented by Durga Thapa. Students, our today's topic is lesson thirty six, vocabulary in context. my dear students you often encounter unfamiliar words when reading context written in english but using a dictionary all the time distract you and even prevents you from completely understanding the material you feel boring it is possible to guess the meaning of an unfamiliar word by paying attention to other words and phrases near it that often reveal helpful details if not the entire meaning of the difficult word these words and the phrases are called the context clues students understanding vocabulary in context is a natural way of learning and it allows you to retain new vocabulary better as vocabulary solve up a bulk of questions particularly in the reading and the listening sections students understanding vocabulary in context is a natural way of learning and it allows you to retain new vocabulary better by this way vocabulary solve up the bulk of questions particularly in the reading and the listening sections they can help you understanding the questions properly it's for using context clues now here are some hints for using context clues how we can use the context clues to help for the reading now the first point is when you read a passage circle any new words that you do not understand that means you have to circle the difficult words and then look in the context to find clues words or phrases that hint at what the new word means number 2 hint is determine how the unfamiliar word is being used that means the unfamiliar word the new word is used as noun or verb or adjective or adverb how the word has been used third is look for clues like definitions synonyms antonyms example around the word hence number 4 the meaning of the word can also be understood by using the prefix or suffix like pre in full all these are the suffix and the prefixes so we have to use them also to understand the word fifth is make connections using clues you have to make sense of the word we have to use the clue to make the connection of the word with the other words the last hint is the meaning of an unfamiliar word can be interfer- inferred that means we can make clue from the description of a description of a situation or an experience now students we are going to study the types of context clues in detail good morning my dear students welcome back to the online classes of saint joseph's academy for class 5 subject English grammar lesson 36 vocabulary in context presented by durga thapa friends the next hint is the example clue we have to understand the word 
we have to understand the paragraph with the help of the examples here the sentence is given legumes such as peas and beans produce pods now students here we have to assume the meaning of the legumes and here examples are given of the legumes that is peas and beans so we will we have to understand legumes word with the examples peas and beans that means the legumes are the plants which produce the pods and they are full of protein students next hint to understand the context is synonym clue now students the synonym can appear in the same sentence in an earlier sentence or later sentence for example the mayor's assistant was accused for malfeasance although he de denied any wrongdoing now students here we have we, we don't know the meaning of malfeasance so we have to assume the meaning of it and in the same sentence uh it is written that although he denied any wrong doing that means malfeasance is the synonym of wrong doing so we can understand the malfeasance with the help of synonym that is wrong doing next hint is the next clue is the antonym clue students antonym context clues are words around a difficult word that mean the opposite on nearly the opposite as a word as for example when the light brightens the pupils of the eyes contract however when it grows darker they dilate now students here we have to understand the meaning of contact that means when the light brightens the pupils of the eyes contact however when it grows darker they dilate here contact and dilate are the antonyms of each other now dilate dilate means wide so contact means to come together so in this way we can understand the clues and we can understand the context now students we are going to study the types of context clues in detail now students the last clue to understand the word context is word part clue now students here word part are prefix suffix and the root these words parts will suggest at least the part of the meaning of a word for example the story is incredible now students we have to we have to divide the word part word into part that is in plus credible so if we know the if we know the meaning of credible we can also assume the meaning of the incredible okay so by this way we can understand the context properly good morning my dear student welcome back to the online classes of st joseph's academy